I'm down to collab with anyone. If it makes sense, yeah. A lot of the music, probably not. <laughs> See, Eric, so stop messaging him. He doesn't yeah, want to. Yeah, exactly. Him. He just has 50 <laughs> DMs for me. Like, yo, dude, let me hop on a beat, please. <laughs> Today, we had on a highly requested guest, Steven Diaz, aka the rapping realtor. This guy has amassed millions of views for his real estate raps and has taken the industry by storm. Find out how it's affected his real estate business and how he plans to ride this wave into marketing oblivion. The Broke Agent presents Over Ask Podcast. All right. Well, he, well, here we are, Stephen Diaz. Um, now we've had we've had some big guests on this this show: Ryan Serhant, Jordan Cohen, Selling Sunset Folk. You must be the hardest person to track down. To, to get on this show. I mean, you are a, what do you call it? A jet setter? You're on like private jets and shit. I mean, you've just come out, you've blown up over the last couple months in this scene. So thank you so much for being on. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. My voice is a little under the weather. So. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're putting out like 15 <laughs> rap videos a week i would i would imagine like we need to just get right into this okay because we've had a bunch of people talking about this like i said you just kind of like it seems like you came out of nowhere um in the real estate space i don't know how long you've been like doing it before but i guess some of your stuff just really popped off maybe within the last six months maybe to uh, a year last, last two months actually oh so not even six months so have were you doing this before um, I was not as frequent um, till recently when I started seeing the traction, then I started doing it more. Okay. Yeah. And are you like, are you like a professional rapper? Like this is, you're no. too good. You're, you're too um, good at it. I just, I just love music. Um, it's a hobby that I've always had for a few years for real estate. And I kind of put it on hold for a little while. And then recently just kind of, brought it back out. So were you trying to make it as a rapper before you got your real estate license? Because Matt and I were talking about this before, just as he said, as far as being too good, where <laughs> whenever anyone does like these rap parodies or, or raps or, or music videos or something, when it's so good, we're like, okay, like this person <laughs> should just be a rapper at this point or something like that, because you have the voice, you have the cadence, you have the flow. Um, the, the lyrics are incredible. So were you trying to rap before and then saw real estate as your, as your vessel or just like walk us through the process as to how this started? So like I said, it was a hobby, but obviously anybody doing music hopes that one day they'll have a song like take off, right? And go viral. Um, it never happened before I got my license, real estate. I you know focused on real estate, literally put all my equipment in the closet and just put it away for good. Um, anything I do, I'm a perfectionist. So if I'm going to mow lawns, I'm going to be the best, you know, if I'm going to do music. I'm going to try to be the best I can. So I take it serious. Like I really put my time, effort, you know, and go to the studio, do everything professional, so forth. So. What right, sort of so stuff are you rapping about be before real estate? Like, was it just like lifestyle stuff or did you have a niche yeah. back then or what, like, yeah, were you up like, like SoundCloud? Like, what was your... What was your yeah, goal? I had, I had some stuff on Apple Music, SoundCloud, um, just like normal life stuff. Like, you know, starting, you know, my family was, you know, super poor when I was growing up to now, you know, being able to buy cars, things like that. Kind of normal radio stuff that you hear. Now, yeah. I was, uh, I come from a music background as well. Before I was a touring musician before real estate. Um, so I know studio time and stuff, unless you have a connection, you know, could get expensive, things like that. How much, how much are you kind of spending on this? And are you seeing like a return on investment? And does everyone who wants to kind of get into this space need a big professional studio to do this? Uh, it sounds like you cut out there, but I'm definitely spending a lot of uh, time and money. And like you said, studio production videos, um, it does add up for sure, but you know, for me, I, that's what I want to do with my like marketing budget. There are people will do like billboards, run ads on Facebook, things like that. And that's where I'm just putting my, my marketing money in the studio pretty much. 
Sorry to interrupt, but if you're listening, this means you care about real estate marketing. You care about becoming a better agent. And that's exactly why you need to join our new platform, BAMX. We have monthly courses for our members, including my Instagram course, objection handling, green screens, captions, and more. You also get access to our exclusive private community for literally a frappuccino a month. Use code OVERASK for 10% off. There's a link down in the description. What was the first real estate rap that you did? Because you have <laughs> Dr. Dre, you have Bad Bunny, you have Snoop, you have Lil Wayne. The Drake one obviously popped up. So what was the first one? How'd you come up with that idea? And like, which, which one, one popped the most? Yeah. The first one wasn't even actually like real estate related. Um, I had a song previous called My City. And I just rapped about my city, which is Fresno, California. Um, so I'd made a little, like a little video, put it together, like, Hey, people were wondering why I got into real estate. And the answer is, and I switched it and it's like, I do it for my city. And then it had right. like the little clip. So that was the very first like intro, bringing music and real estate together. Right there. That was about a, two years ago. And did that pop off or like, what no. was the feedback? Okay, <laughs> got it. So yeah, yeah, describe to us the feedback from these first videos, <laughs> because I, I got to assume entering a space like this and starting to rap, although obviously you're good. So I'm sure people recognize quickly, like, okay, this is obviously a skill for skillful, uh, rapper here. Like what, what did other agents think in your brokerage? Um, everybody was, you know, there was no negative comments, like you're trash and stop or anything like that. Um, I was real hesitant to do it. I mean, uh, it was like a whole different side of me, you know, definitely, but I did it and no one really, talked down on it. Actually, my broker liked it. And he was like, Hey, when's the next video coming out? And that kind of, you know, those positive comments and positive feedback kind of helped me to move on and do another one in the future. So. So you popped off like two months. What was the first one that like really popped off where you were like, um, so I, I heard the most annoying song ever on TikTok, And it was just like on my feet, like constantly. And I'm like, wow, like if this guy could blow up off the song, it was like some dude with the mohawk and he was like doing these weird like shh, 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 yeah. Shh, shh, shh. yeah, I'm sure you might have heard it, right? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Like, yeah. Wow, like it's every time I would get on TikTok, I just see this dude. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this uh, and make it a real estate song. So I did it. I was super hesitant. Like literally I did not, it was like in my drafts for like two weeks. I did not want to post it. And thank God I posted it. Um, that was the first one that kind of took off and went viral. How many views Crazy. did that one get? Um, to date, I think almost a million on Instagram. Yeah. So are I you did. cross, are you cross posting these to TikTok and YouTube also? Um, I am not as much as I should. Um, for some reason, TikTok, the music they don't accept it as much they they're more of like skits they get more positive more views more likes things like that um the yeah. skits too i do skits as well so no oh, nice eric but yeah uh, eric had a rap video like from like eight years ago <laughs> yeah are, i did are we, gonna, are we gonna be able to put it on here i i, I hope so can we put it up uh, eric you that think? thing is privated on youtube <laughs> as everybody knows it's actually very vulgar and self-deprecating and would not fly in 2023. <laughs> 2015 was a different time, but my goal was not to become a real estate rapper, Matt, for the record. That was just like, it was called the intro and it was like the intro to the broke agent. Basically it was the first video, but it was like a, you know, three and a half minute YouTube video. And this is before, I think it's even before you could put videos on Instagram. So we just like plugged a picture and then linked it to YouTube. Got like 20,000 views on YouTube, actually, which wow. now that's an enormous amount. Back then, it's like you could pop off on YouTube way easier. But I I want to ask, like, what's the sustainability of something like this? Because, you know, I've seen a lot of people kind of come up with uh, a shtick. And I don't want to call this a shtick because obviously you're a great rapper. But, like, how long do you think you can keep this thing going? Is this something that, like, you're going to be the real estate rapper for the next five, six, seven years? Or is this like kind of a means to a music career or is this a means to grow your real estate business and kind of branch off? So to be honest, um, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, it happened so fast that I really haven't had a lot of time to, you know, put a lot of thought into it. 
I just know that it's working. So I'm just continuing to do, you know, in my opinion, better videos, better lyrics, pop more, you know, popular songs so that, you know, it doesn't die out. But um, I'm just going to keep doing that and see where where it heads to, you know? Yeah. The good thing is it's the ultimate trend, Jack. Like anytime there's a new video or there's like a, a new popular rap song, you could obviously just do mm -hmm. that, right? So it's like you, you are getting constant, you know, real and TikTok ideas from that, which yeah. is pretty cool. Actually, um, so I got so many requests, like when's the album dropping and right. things like that. So I actually have two songs that like mm -hmm. aren't a remake and they're going to be coming out. I can put them on like Spotify, Apple Music, and they're going to be like original songs, uh, my own beats, things like that. And they're real estate related. So people will be able to go and download them from like the Apple Music Store. That's so epic. Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> Like imagine you you literally become like this real estate rapper and you're just at like fucking Coachella. <laughs> you're, just like, you're at the Tom Ferry conference. There's just like a bunch of real estate. <laughs> like that's like that's like there's so much you could do with this. And you're already like like performing at conferences, right? Yeah. I've, uh, recently, um, like I said, within the last couple months, I've been to Chicago, Arizona, Vegas. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So are people are, are you, are people flying you out and paying you? Like, are you speaking at brokerages, um, conferences? Like give us, walk um, us through this, how, how this goes down where someone reaches um, out to you and no, you're performing. I'm getting a lot of people reach out. Some are brokers, um, some are agents and just to show up at a party, show up at a conference, maybe speak a little bit about social media, my story, um, do a song or two. Um, they're pretty much just paying for my travel, um, not really, you know, paying me at the moment. But, you know, eventually that'd be something that I'd like to do as well. So what's the real estate crowd like at these conferences or brokerages? Are they like bobbing to your music? Do they know the lyrics? Are they weirded uh, out? Like, what are they doing? Actually, yeah, I've had people come from like two hours away, take oh a selfie, God. singing the songs with me. Um, it's been wild. Definitely. Yeah, definitely been wild. That's crazy. That's so yeah. sick. Can you imagine some maniac realtors just once they're like <laughs> off the job, they're just driving in their car, rapping real estate lyrics after oh hours. My God. Like on the, the, on the, the person, show. yeah, yeah the, person, the, the person driving two hours to see the real estate rap too. That person's obviously a huge fan. And what I've seen, which is really cool with your music, is agents are using the audio of your music mm. for their own videos. So it's almost become like a real estate theme song. Like you're, I mean, you're wearing the shirt right now, the realtor, will you do something for me song? Yeah. I've seen that used in thousands of real estate audios and people actually like lip syncing to it or just having yeah. it on the background or actually doing their own music video to it, which is really cool. So it, like you're creating original audios that people are using. Yeah. Every time I open my own phone and start scrolling, I'm like, Oh, there's my song. There's my song. Uh, yeah, it's wild. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you have like a bank of songs? Because I guess you do some that are like, I don't know. I guess it's not a parody, but it's like, well, maybe. Is that what it's called? A parody? Because it's like different what you do. A cover? cover a cover. Yeah. It's we, more we a cover make. than a parody. Yeah. So do you have like a list of songs that you want to cover next? Um, and then how do you like, how do you figure out what you want to do? Yeah, so I mean... Whatever's kind of viral, you know, if it's already viral, then I just have to change the lyrics around and chances are it's going to go viral. Also, um, people are already using it, you know, and on TikTok, on Instagram. So once I change over the lyrics, some of them, like I'm like, oh, this is this is a good song, but I just can't change it to like real estate. So I'll be yeah. like, OK, on to the next, you know, so. Right. Yeah. And that's a good that's a good um thing to say because like sometimes people just like go down this rabbit hole and it's just going nowhere so you have mm -hmm. to learn when to just like okay this isn't this isn't happening let's move on to the next yes sir for sure do you how many people are like messaging you now wanting to collab like because they can rap too like uh, every day yeah, yeah. <laughs> people send me lyrics and, yeah you know, who, you know who's good sean romano sean sells florida have you checked his stuff out? He's a good rapper also. 
I haven't. So a lot of people sent me that comedian. He had like a ponytail, did like a Drake song. I don't know if you guys seen that one floating around. I've you probably can... seen it. I don't know. If you go to my tagged photos, there's a lot of raps and songs and like parodies and stuff. That's a good place to search for it. But yeah, Sean Sells Florida is really good too. He does like, I'm trying to think he did this. He did a, a T-Pain song. I don't know if it was Buy You a Drink or something like that, but he had an entire like four or five minute music video that I thought was really good. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people want to know, including us, like obviously your social's blown up. You're over 40,000 on Instagram now. So are you getting agent to agent referrals from these videos? Like how has your real estate business changed from these raps? It's definitely ch picked up a lot, um, especially how the market kind of changed this year. Uh, my last uh, listing was from social media and pretty much every day I'm getting someone reach out, whether it's a client or an agent. Um, yesterday I had someone reach out in Florida. Um, I'm showing houses in Fresno for somebody that lives in San Jose. Um, so it's definitely picked up a lot and hopefully it keeps picking up more. And are, your, and are your clients like hiring now, like is a seller hiring you knowing that you could do a rap video about their specific listing or because you have a, a large social following? Like what's that conversation like with potential sellers? Um, I definitely let them know that there's going to be a lot of eyes on the property and I do have a large following. Um, everyone I've worked with, amazing. Um, some people are like in my skits, <laughs> you know, so they, they pretty much know what's going on. But, yeah. It's pretty crazy. So what, what was your business like before? And so has, has it like really picked up and how long have you been an agent for? Uh, it's going to go on three years now. Okay. Yeah. Um, it worked. Um, my business was pretty good. Uh, my first year, I think I did 15, second year, 18. Solid. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, more this year, just keep yeah. going up. That's bad. And, so and is it, yeah, go ahead, Matt. No, go Eric. Is it mostly agent to agent referrals? Like when you said the person reached out in Florida, is this like another agent? Cause th those are the people who are sharing your videos mostly, right? It's other agents. Yeah. So it's ma mainly like a lot of agent attraction. Yep. Uh, for sure. Which is amazing. Cause I get that too. Like I did, I think 5 million last month in agent referrals. People overlook that so much. Like it's crazy what it can do. Mm-hmm. Before two months ago, no one would send me anything, right? And now I know. I, I, <laughs> so there's, I know the power of social and social credibility. What it can do for you is mm -hmm. amazing. A lot of people sleep on that. Yeah. Um, what's uh, what's what do you got in the docket? What are you doing collabs? What what's going on next? Is there a big? Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just focusing on, uh, those two songs that I'm going to be releasing, doing videos, trying to plan like how to release that, how to introduce that, you know, kind of blend it into what I'm already doing. The cool thing about, about your videos also is that they sustain, um, like watch time because you don't just put out a video and that's it. You use the audio throughout like the next couple weeks right so a lot of people think they only have one chance for a video to get views but i feel like you do multiple music videos so walk us through the creative process of that like are you actively thinking how do i elongate the the life of this video or like what do you do for each one yeah for sure you um i think some people get discouraged um when they drop a video and it doesn't do well so i'll actually drop um say the video is like a minute and a half I'll try to separate it into like three 30 minute segments and drop them at different times of the week, you know, um, different hours of the day, just because it'll get different engagement and, you know, doing little, you know, little videos to that same audio just in my day to day routine. So definitely, you know, I don't just drop it once. I kind of keep continue to use it throughout, like you said, a couple of weeks. Yeah, I I like that about your stuff. It kind of abruptly ends sometimes, and then it's like <laughs> you got to watch it again because you're like, oh, did I miss? And that's like clever. Mm -hmm. So when you go into the studio for a song, how are you doing the full song, or you're doing like, okay, I'm gonna do three thirty second segments, so I'm gonna do a minute thirty. Yeah. So so the good thing about what I do, um, I don't really have to do a full song. That'd be too long. People's attention spans are really short. So I'll just do like a verse in the hook 
and that's mm -hmm. it. So that's how I'm able to do so many is because it's not like a full song with, you know, three hooks, two verses, 16 bars, 16 bars. It's just a shorter version. So it's yep. a little easier to kind of knock it out and move on. Right. And are yeah. you, um, cause you were rap like you've been rapping for a long time. Are you like big into freestyling? Like, is that how you kind of like make these? Like Harry Mac? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. That's a whole no. different skill set. Yeah. So I, I really like, as you can tell by the lyrics, like I literally like put a lot of thought into it. Uh, I want it to make sense. I don't want it just to be like mumble rap, things like that. So I really take time to like write the lyrics, make sure it makes sense, that it goes with today's market. So people can, oops, sorry. <laughs> so people can say like, oh, that, that makes sense, you know? And then yeah. if it makes sense, they want to use it in their own posts as well, so. Yeah, for sure. So what is that like, I guess some, uh, you just like knock out in like 20 minutes and some take like forever. Is that how kind of goes the process? Yeah. Pretty much once I get in the zone of writing, then I'm just like in the zone. Like I'll say if, if I really like the song, I'm like I have to finish this today. Literally, I work on music every day, like in the morning, coffee and music every day. Like seriously. Nice. Like That's another bad. job. Almost. So you time, you time block it. Almost. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah, pretty much. Just are you, it. are you working on other music outside of the real estate niche? No, just pretty much focused on that. Um, music in itself is a lot of work. Like, you know, I'm trying to juggle real estate and music. It's like, yep. having, you know, two, it's like doing two jobs. So, I feel like you could, you could actually, you know, get featured on some songs or do some other like raps outside of real estate soon, because like your social is going to get to the point where you're going to be at a hundred thousand followers soon because you're, you're growing so fast. Um, you know, kind of like how the little Dicky route, right? Like he did all these parodies and song parodies mm -hmm. and covers and stuff, and it was all like humor based. And now he's taken seriously as a rapper. So maybe that's in yeah, your we'll destination we'll in your future. We'll see. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's badass. Or, or, or to get, or to get you guys in the studio. Hey, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. Here. You know, I'll come back, right. you know? come back like Jordan, right? There exactly. You go. <laughs> yeah Crow, i got dr clickstein i could i could throw in a few bars right matt yeah i can oh, i can yeah. i can throw down a, f a couple bars too steven i <laughs> i got um people were messaging me about you because i i do this like m, &M thing uh, i'm not good like i'm not actually good like You're you good. but i do I like did you just post it recently I've, I've done like a couple of them yeah oh, there's awesome. been, like, i posted I like one it. yesterday uh -huh. But I, I don't. Oh, thank you. But um, a lot of people were like, oh, look at this guy. That's your competition. I'm like, there's <laughs> he's <laughs> I, like, I'm just trying to sound like Eminem. There's no like yeah. competition here. Um, yeah. yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, if you ever need me, like I can throw I can throw down a little bit, but I have to sound like Eminem. All right. <laughs> you know what I hear all the time, Eric? What? Agents complain that online leads are trash. You're right, it's so annoying. It is annoying, not converting, being non-responsive, et cetera. Let me let you in on a little secret, Eric. Okay. Boomtown was literally designed to overcome those challenges. They know that online home shoppers are further out from transacting maybe three, six, even 12 months, Eric, down the road. So Boomtown nurtures those leads for you using proven automated smart drip campaigns. You know what else I heard? Beyond all of that, Boomtown also monitors your entire database of leads for behaviors that indicate readiness to transact and then engage them for you at exactly the right time. You see everything, everywhere, all at once. Omnipotent, right, Matt? Or omniscient or something like that. Right. Yeah, it's kind of like that, except it's you that's everywhere. And there are no hot dog fingers, whatever the, whatever the hell those are. So if you're ready to grow your database and have your transactions steadily increase, visit boomtownroi.com slash over ask. If you haven't yet already, after listening to this podcast for two years, you're out of your damn mind. Plus, you'll get 750 bucks in free digital advertising credits. That's boomtownroi.com slash over ask. It's the best CRM in the game, hands down. Yeah. But, and hey, do people accuse you of using chat GPT? Because I get that constantly and it pisses me off. 
Um, I, see, I seen one comment one time. Um, actually, I went to um, a conference recently to speak and they were like, well, how do you come up with your lyrics? And I was like, oh, chat GPT. I was like, no. Exactly. <laughs> right. I know, you could probably point. you could probably copy paste the lyrics to an old song, yeah. put it in Chat GPT, Chat GPT, and say do this, except make it sound like Lil Uzi Vert or something like that, and yeah. then it'll honestly give you a perfect script. So, yeah, I mean you should, that's you cheating. should try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess G- give you a little inspirational fuel, possibly. That's that's yeah, what we yeah, use yeah. Chat GPT. I don't know. For. I'm so I'm so hesitant to use it for for like. I just, I yeah, have you, so much fun creating. You think creating. it's going to attack you. Well, I just have so much fun creating. I feel like it's going to, I don't know. It like takes some of the luster out of it. It'd be like too easy. It's too yeah. easy. Right. I know. Like I like, like like being stumped wheels. and trying to think of something, you know? Yeah, like, it's like a challenge. Like making yeah. a song is like a challenge for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, and do you, so for your original songs, did you make the beats or, or is the uh, producer um, making those? Yeah, no, there's there's like different websites where you can lease them or buy them. So oh, I would cool. just go in there, kind of find a beat that that I like, and then once I find the beat, just start the process. Uh, from the, it always starts with the beat for sure. Yeah. Do you so, do you sing too, or just? I, I don't. Not okay. at all. Yeah, you guys don't want to hear me sing for sure. Okay. Matt sings, well, so Matt can hit the vocals. <laughs> those high notes. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Again, I'm not. I'm good. I'm. I'm a good rapper and singer for a realtor. I'm not actually yeah. good. You know. Yeah, and, and I try to. Stay in the kingdom of the blind, <laughs> the one-eyed realtor rules. Yeah. Yeah. And I try to stay away from like auto tune things like mm-hmm. that. You know, just trying to keep it real. Yeah. I could do yeah. E40, Matt. So you could do Eminem. I could do E40, and then Steven can do you know just the the normal raps. <laughs> there you go. You know who E40 is? No, I don't know who that is. Okay, yeah, I can tell. I I'm, tell I like uh I'm a big uh Eminem fan obviously. Love, you know, Jay-Z, Dr. Dre. Um I like Mac Macklemore, but oh I, I I feel that's not very cool, but that's I like That's not cool him. at all. Yeah. Mac- 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 Macklemore yeah, yeah. one Macklemore won album of the year over Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Oh, Kendrick Lamar is also badass. In yeah. like 2014 or 15 or something like that. And everybody was pissed. And I think that kind of like sunk Macklemore. There's there's a little yeah. bit more drama. But you know what? There's that. something about his voice. I love, uh, there's something about that like timbre of his voice that I really like. Yeah. He's kind yeah, of fallen off recently. He has Steven fallen D- off. Steven Diaz is more popular than him. Well, Steven, do you have, do you have a, a rap Let's... name? Yeah, what is no, it? No, I just yeah. Steven Diaz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like real, your voice. Real. I like your voice a lot. It's very um uh it's like butter. It's like butter, you know, it just kind of it's very smooth. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the kind of rap I don't like when it's too aggressive, you know? Mm. I, I like Eminem, but I don't right. know. I don't I'm just contradicting myself, but I like how smooth your voice is. I like yeah, I was listening like to it just before we smoke. got on. Right. Yeah. Um, no. th- let's get into this merch right here. I see realtor with three R's hat and shirt. Is this sure. something that people can purchase? <laughs> are people purchasing it? Do you have a store um, or are you just repping your brand? Yeah. I'm just kind of, you know, marketing myself. Um, I made a couple just to test it out and I'm getting a lot of requests for it. So I probably will in the near future have it available. But right now I mainly just rock it myself. For sure. I wonder if like Realtor is huge with copyright and I wonder if you adding those two R's actually gets rid of that copyright because yeah, I used I'm, to have, you're, you're good. I'm looking at into it right now. Okay. Got it. Cause I used to have stuff that said like Realtor, or I'm a drinker with a Realtor problem or something like that. And then I remember everyone saying that I could get screwed or yeah. it could be copyright infringement or they could send me a cease and desist for selling like one shirt. Yeah. But you should copyright happened. that. You should copyright that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. he's on the podcast. We just, our podcast just goes away forever. Right, like the exactly. whole thing. Because he's wearing real shirts. <laughs> we get removed from the internet. <laughs> this <laughs> is the reason. That's funny. Yeah, you should copyright that. Yeah. yeah. That's badass. So like, this is, I don't know. I like, because... Like I said, I was a musician before, so I just like 
I don't know. This is like really cool. Um, what, like, what do people, cause when I was kind of, and I came up much slower than you, but I would constantly, like I said, like have people who don't do anything in my space. So I do like a lot of comedy skits and they'd be like, Hey man, we should collab. And I wrote this skit and like, you get a lot of that. You were saying, do you just like kindly be like, no thanks. Yeah. Or do you just not respond? I mean, I, I'll, I'll check it out. You know, I don't ever yeah. want to be like, let it get to my head. Like, Oh, I have a lot of followers. You know, I'm, I'm down to collab with anyone. Um, you know, if it makes sense. Um, yeah, I'll check exactly. It out. Yeah. I'll definitely if it makes sense. It yeah. If it fits Sometimes. like my sense of humor, everyone has different sense. I have like a dry sense of humor. So if it, if it makes sense. Yeah. A lot of the music, probably not, <laughs> but maybe some yeah. skits or something like that. Yeah. 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 See no. Eric. So stop messaging him. He doesn't want to collab. Yeah, exactly. He just has 50 <laughs> DMs for me. Like, yo dude, let me hop on a beat, please. <laughs> I made a song nine years ago. It was absolute <laughs> fire. So, the other agents in Fresno, has anyone, no, you've had no negative feedback. You're telling me not one person at a showing has been like, oh, it's the rap and realtor guy. Like, what the hell is going on here? Is this guy, you know, like, yeah. does he know what he's doing? Like, no, nothing. Um, like when I posted my last sale, they were like, oh, he, he sells too. He's not just right. a rapper, you know? Uh, I had one comment, it was like corny or something like that. But yeah, yeah not, that's, you know, that's nothing. Yeah, that's not, that's not too crazy. But uh, no. now everything's, everything's pretty positive, especially in, my, in you know my city, in my office. Everything's been pretty positive. I mean, yep. there's nothing really to not be positive about. Like it's fucking good. <laughs> it's just really I just know good. agents. Agents could just be such haters. Like if someone is getting success, like even you, Matt. Like if you're crushing it and you're having all these videos, and then you have a 14 million dollar listing and you're selling a lot, I bet there's a lot of jealous agents who are upset they either don't have that talent or didn't come up with something like that. So I don't mean necessarily yeah. on social. I meant kind of like in person at showings or if you walk into like yeah. a broker's uh, open or something, are you getting like the side eye or anything? No, just signing autographs, things like that. <laughs> you know? Of course, right. Just signing, they, so uh, signing their real estate license. And like <laughs> just <laughs> signing in the actual sign-in sheet and just yeah, putting just it signed. away and just framing he it just, immediately. He puts a like, signature in every one. That's, that, that's a funny concept for a real estate video, actually. Yeah. It's just you walking into brokers opens and signing your autograph yeah. into the actual slot. And then the agent be like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or like when I, when I get to a showing, if there's like people, other parties waiting, they just like move out of the way for me. Right, exactly. They part the seas like Moses is coming carpet. through. There's like a right. red carpet that comes out. <laughs> that's sick. It like, you're, like you're going to the Grammys. Yeah, that's badass. Yeah, we should have you perform at the Bammies. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to have the yeah, Bammies. Yeah, we're going to have an award show called the Bammies at some point. Yeah, you'll be so. you'll be the headline headline yeah, you, show. You'll be oh, up for top cool. music performance for sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For oh. sure. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Um, yeah, I get. I didn't get a lot of negative comments, and now I'm finding I'm getting more and more, just people, but just like hater comments, or just like you're just like that's just mean. That's not even like clever or funny. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's this the tattoos. Is. They don't want to. Yeah. They don't oh, yeah. They don't want to. Yeah. See, I'm not yeah. scared. Uh, I'm not scary yeah. enough. I'm not <laughs> scary enough. I don't know what it is. But yeah, they're not. I don't know. Some are just like, I, I read them. I'm like, damn, that's just like really mean. But yeah. as you said, I mean, Eric, it's, yeah. At the, at the end of the day, like, you know, my the sounds I'm making are for them. You know what I mean? If you think about it, like, they can use them on their pose. They don't even have to have the talent. They don't have to put in the work. They don't have to go to the studio. I put the sound out and it's for everybody. So it's like, you know, in a way I'm helping everyone out um, to, to benefit their social media as well. Now they can just go on there, click the sound, make a video and there's a post, you know? So, yeah, yeah. that's a good way. It's impressive. It. I, and I mean, this as a compliment. You've found a way to make real estate rap, not cringe. Like mm -hmm. if you hear the term real estate rap, most people are probably thinking like, oh, it's just, you know, someone trying to blow up their marketing and then mm -hmm. you watch and it sucks. Like you've actually done a good job 
where you watch and you're like, okay, this is good quality. Like I want to keep watching this shit. So kudos to you for that. Yeah. It, that is an impressive so, feat. So actually there's a uh, gentleman goes by the name of Miles Minnick. Have you heard of him? Either of you? No. Is he a real estate rapper? No. So he's actually a <laughs> Christian rapper. Okay. And he blew up. So I was like, okay, he's the only one doing it that I heard of or that I know of. And his songs, like you said, they're not cringe. He makes songs there. He put them out. He's on tour, like all over the country. And so when I seen that, that kind of gave me like an idea, like, hey, you know, that's like an untouched field that I could go into and see what happens. So, you know, who knows? Yeah. Maybe. The, the so, only problem is with the real estate agent audience is it is small right? There's 1.5 million licensed realtors and dropping according to the latest NAR statistics, Matt. How about that? Oh, um, wow. But that's yeah, just in that's, the there's States. There's an article on that on nowbam.com. Yeah, that's just in the States. But you know, however many there are worldwide, say 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, smaller audience, right? right. Like, can you expand to finance? Can you expand to yeah. escrow wrap? Can you expand to house flipping, investing, that type of thing. Because, yeah, you know, there, there is just like a, a certain amount of people, like even if you capture 10% of the licensed realtors in America, you know, it's only 100,000, 150,000 that are For watching sure. your shit. So it's so, like, so like, so like it's still Wembley Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If every realtor <laughs> traveled to London, yeah, then that would work. Yeah, exactly. So, so like the realtor, can you do something for me, right? So I don't know if you've seen it, but I did yeah. Lander, can you do something for me? Saw that. I did see that. Oh, Genius. Oh, that kind of, you know, and I've actually seen people take like a, a song of mine and like, it's like houses still selling what recession. And this lady like posted a video and she's like, cars are still selling what recession. So mm -hmm. she's like a car salesman and she used the song. And so like the new song that I have coming out, it's called Seller's Anthem. So it's like, regardless of what you sell, phones, cars, houses, whatever, you can listen to it and like, okay, I sell yeah. this the Seller's Anthem. So That's cool. I was going to say like sales, just in general, mm -hmm. anyone working a commission gig, whether it's mm -hmm. commission only or commission plus salary, super relatable. Mm -hmm. anyone dealing with clients, even like if it's consulting, graphic design, just, you know, client interest, something like that. So yeah, yeah it's got, well, it's you, got well, legs you, to expand. You see like, um, the Gary V's and the Grant Cardone's like the followings they have, if you can tap into that, yeah, that'd be huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The entrepreneurs, the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. hustler grinder stuff you could perform at the next VCon possibly VCon just mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, I'm just using it to, you know, build relationships. Yeah. You know, as I grow, just build relationships. Like I'll be in LA, like, hey Eric, I'm gonna crash on your couch, you know. No, that's not happening. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> this guy's just gonna crash on my couch. Like what's gonna be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Is, yeah, is it a Wearing private all realtor gear? <laughs> in a private jet five days ago, he's gonna yeah. crash on your couch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't, yeah. don't want to crash on my couch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can crash on my yeah. yeah, Toronto. Yeah, when he's in the six, he'll uh, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll swing by you. Come, I'll take yeah. you to Drake's house. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll we'll get kicked out. We'll get kicked off the property, but we'll right. we can go. We can go up front. <laughs> you'll you'll get to the driveway. You know what I <laughs> I do love this about real estate, Matt. You and I have talked about this before, but it is such a great vessel for anything marketing. Like anything goes if you're creative with marketing. And I loved humor. I loved comedy. Sports comedy was kind of already taken with Barstool and plenty of other content pieces, right? Real estate was my vessel for comedy where I was just like, this is perfect. This is untapped. No one else is doing funny shit. I'm going to do something called The Broke Agent and then create a brand through that that hopefully will expand outside of real estate eventually. So love what you're doing. I think it makes complete sense and you're good at it. So yeah. good work. Yeah, I think Crush. definitely anyone like listening should you know, take their passion and kind of incorporate it with real estate. If you're, if you play the guitar, you know, try to figure out how to play the guitar and do real estate and kind of combine the two. That way it's just fun. You know, what you're doing is fun. You enjoy it. And it's not, it doesn't seem like a job, like a job. So yeah. My voice. yeah. <laughs> for no, sure. And, and, and for sure do it. Um, Cause you love to do it. Don't do it because you think it's going to get you a bunch of views or, you know, mm -hmm. 
people can read through that do it because you genuinely yeah. want to do it you know yeah definitely um what i talked about at the last um mastermind that i was at definitely be yourself you know um like look i'm rocking my own gear you know tattoos i make pop music i'm a realtor definitely be yourself people can see when you're when you're fake when you're trying to be something you know <laughs> i tell everybody when i first got into real estate i bought a bunch of suits kohan, yeah. kohan shoes nice and they're they're in my closet right now <laughs> like just collecting dust like yo I kohan's kind of kind of fucking they're comfy though oh they're they comfy. are yeah they are. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so definitely you know be yourself. Um, yeah, that's all I can that I could say. Huh? Yeah, badass man. It's it's really cool to see the uh, the come up and what you're gonna do next. And mm -hmm. um, it's just you're like Eric said, you're making it cool because it's a space that was kind of like iffy and everyone was thought it was a little cringy. And you're doing it in such an it's you can tell you're putting a lot of effort into it but you make it look effortless and i think that's where it kind of all like makes sense and and meshes well um so congrats on all the success We're, we look forward to seeing everything else you do uh, if you ever want to collab with eric and i we got some we got some bars written down all yeah right. we do. yeah i think the people want that for sure <laughs> yeah yeah i'll have to fly out i'll have to fly out send your jet i'll, I'll send a jet. jet for you <laughs> <laughs> all right i'll see I'll you on my that. couch next week <laughs> thanks thanks steven thanks so much man thanks for coming on thanks for having me guys yeah